Kyle Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. So today we have the assembly video of, you guessed it, the Blitz RC F22. That's her all complete. So go ahead and stay tuned to the video and see how easy this thing is to come along. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> I've already done a lot of prep work before we're going to start doing this assembly video. As you can see, I already went ahead and peeled off as much paint as I can off of all the surfaces that are actually gonna be glue to glue contact on the pieces and on the fuse. That way we're not just gluing the paint, right? Also, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna do a little bit out of order of the book, is I also pulled off the paint where the hinges are gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and put on those hinges first. These are the vertical stabilizers. Took off the uh, paint there and there. So went ahead, took all the paint off right where the control surfaces are going to go. So we're going to do that first. Uh, another thing I said earlier about a dihedral, this plane doesn't have a dihedral and I figured out why, uh, and it could be why people's planes aren't flying right. But when you have this wing, it is keyed in really tight. So please do a test fitting on the plane before you put any glue on it, make sure that it goes on. Now, let me tell you this, right where the servo goes, let me take this off. You'll notice that the servo actually protrudes into this pocket. Do you notice how it's digging in here? So when you're actually putting this wing on, the only way to seal that gap on the top side is to bend it and give it a dihedral. So go ahead, push this down with your finger, it's okay. Go ahead and smush some of that foam. So that way when you go ahead and you put that on, your wing sits nice and flush there and sits nice and flush on top. Now for the next part of this video, it's just gonna be a whole bunch of gluing and drying. So we're gonna fast forward this until we get into the linkage. Okay, y'all, we're back. Now we got the wings and the elevators uh, glued on. I went ahead and I installed the receiver that went ahead and came with this radio. And I have the servos connected into channel one and channel two. I don't care that they're operational or not. I just want the servos to go ahead and <clears throat> get centered, right? I'm using these right here from the uh, controller. And what you wanna go ahead and do is what I ended up doing is for the ailerons, you wanna have these right here, open them up, and you wanna go ahead and use your finger and even out all the surfaces where they're gonna be mechanically zero. And once you got that, you're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Now, just to let you know on the ailerons, 
they're calling up eight millimeters to throw and 10 millimeters in the um, elevator. I'm gonna let you know, for a little model like this, it's gonna be way too much. It's gonna corkscrew around. But I got it in the ballpark, just to go ahead and go off of the manual. So for my uh, ailerons, you can go ahead and hopefully you could see that. The ailerons are on not the most inner hole to where the screw's at, but the second uh, to the most innest. And this guy is on the next one up. That way the geometry, this one will get the two millimeters more flex than the uh, elevator. And I went ahead and tied it down and they go and everything seems to be working. And now that we got all that put in, now we're gonna go ahead and take out the battery. And I just had an NIMH battery to go ahead and power it up. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and glue our vertical stabilizers on, and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed and installing the gyro. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for the assembly. We went ahead and finished gluing on the back. The gyro's already done. Now we do have another video that's already posted. I'll have to go ahead and set up the gyro, so it behooves you to go ahead and watch that. What do you guys think? I think she's gonna be pretty much a fun flyer, something to go ahead and take out to the field and fly. So go ahead and stay tuned. If you like what you see, the link's down in the distro. Noon's out. Awesome.